Your product metrics and KPIs should be defined around your product's value to your target users. Think about the problem that your product is trying to solve for your target customers. You can do this by first, identifying the key actions that indicate a user is getting value out of your product. And then match these key actions to their expected natural frequency at solving your user's problem. Using DocuSign as an example, which offers an electronic signature solution that provides the value of convenience for parties to execute contracts. This value of convenience is not something that is really measurable or even quantifiable to be a good metric. As such, a product manager at DocuSign would need to identify the key actions that would indicate users are getting value of convenience. This key action would be signing a contract. Every time a user does this action on DocuSign, they're experiencing the value of convenience in executing contracts with another party. Unexpected natural frequency of this action would perhaps be monthly, since companies would generally tend to execute one contract per month. One way to think about natural frequency is that if you remove your solution, what would be the typical frequency whereby your users would be doing this same action through other means? As a result, DocuSign's value moment of convenience would be an e-sign contract on a monthly frequency. Using value moments as metrics helps you set tangible goals and measure what really matters most. It also helps you focus on defining active usage based on valuable actions for the right personas. In DocuSign's case, this would be a monthly active usage that is based on monthly active e-signers for an SME-sized company.